Okay, my name is Pam Peter. I'm associate faculty with John Wood Community College, and today we're going to measure a grain bin to determine an estimate of how many bushels of grain are in it. And we have on my right Gage Hagen, and on my left David Porter, Austin Wingen, and Zach Nall, who are going to be who are students here at John Wood um, doing the bin measurements. There are several reasons why you would want to know how many bushels of grain are in a bin. Um, one would be is if you wanted to contract some for sale at some point in the future and you needed to know how many bushels you had to, to sell them. A second reason would be if you fed livestock. You'd need to know how much uh, grain you had uh, to feed those livestock, the livestock that you had and how long that grain would last. And the third reason would be for crop insurance. If you had crop insurance, then um, how many bushels you had in that bin would determine whether or not you would have a claim against that insurance. Okay, thanks Pam. Let's go ahead now and talk about the volume of a cylinder because the bin is in the shape of a what we math people would call a right circular cylinder. Now the formula for that is well known, that the volume we would have is pi times the radius squared times the height. Oftentimes though we use an alternate formula because the radius, which of course is the distance from the center of a circle out to its edge, oftentimes might be difficult to measure in a bin. And so we often use the diameter formula, which is pi times diameter squared divided by 4 multiplied by the height. Now all of these dimensions will be in feet. Now in the case of this particular bin, there was already corn inside, so it wasn't possible to get in the bin and measure either the radius or the diameter. So we did the next best thing. We measured around the outside of the bin and measured the bin's circumference. Notice here in this picture that this circumference was 66 feet. Now let's review a little bit more math. The circumference of a circle, or the distance around the outside of it, is equal to pi multiplied times the diameter. Now as you may recall, pi is this special number, 3.14159, and the diameter, of course, is this distance which goes all the way across the bin from one edge straight across the center to the other. Now for us, we want the diameter, so we'll rearrange the circumference formula to get the diameter by itself. The circumference then divided by pi, or the circumference divided by 3.14159, will give us the diameter. And now let's do the math. Remember that the circumference of our bin was 66 feet. Pi is 3.14159, so dividing that out gives us 21.0084, or we can simply round that to the 21 feet, which is the diameter of the bin. Now, since the bin is constructed of a series of rings, which are bolted one upon the top of the other, we won't calculate the entire volume of the bin at one time. We will simply figure out the volume of a single ring, because as you look in the top of the bin to estimate the amount of corn in there, oftentimes the bin isn't full, and if we can just simply count the number of rings, or the number of uh, sections of the bin, we'll get an estimate of the amount of grain that's in there. Now in this slide you see one of our students here who is measuring the height of that ring to be 2 feet 7 inches, and remember then to convert that into feet, we would take the 7, divide that by the 12 inches in a foot, and get the height of a ring to be 2.5833 feet. Now we're ready to put this all together. Remember that the volume is equal to pi, which is 3.14159, multiplied by the diameter squared, divided by 4, and multiply times the height. In this case, we will use the height of a single ring. Plugging in the numbers now, we're going to have the volume, 3.14159, times 21 squared, divided by 4, times 2.5833. If you run these numbers through the calculator, we will find that the volume is 894.26 cubic feet. But we want to have the volume in bushels. Now a bushel is a volume unit, which is 1.25 cubic feet. 
so we're going to need to do some conversions. Remember that the volume of our ring was 894.75 cubic feet, and we'll use our typical unit conversion method of setting up the unit conversion as a fraction and canceling out the parts that we don't want. We will set up one bushel over 1.25 cubic feet, and we will see then that we're going to have the uh, cubic feet to cancel here and here, leaving our answer in bushels. Taking the 894.75 and dividing by 1.25 gives us 715.802 bushels, which we can round to 716 bushels per ring, or to not put too fine of a point on it, we could simply round this to 700 bushels per ring. So if we look in the top of our bin and we see that the grain comes up, let's say, to uh, two rings, we would know that we've got about 1,400 bushels in there, and so on. Now if we wanted to know the complete capacity of the entire bin, we could multiply by the total number of rings all the way to the top, which would be five rings, or this bin holds about 3,580 bushels, uh, 3,600 bushels more or less. Keep in mind, too, that uh, these are estimates. If you actually put an amount of corn in there in the fall, sometimes as the corn dries out, it shrinks somewhat, and you don't have quite as much of that corn when you take it out of the bin. So these are estimates which are useful uh, for kind of rough calculations, and we'll hopefully uh, find that this is a useful way to measure the amount of corn that you have in the bin. This is Professor Rigsby saying thanks for watching.